Now, during lockdown, I'm aware that people have been finding all sorts of things to do. Some people have done unusual things. A friend of mine posted a picture of the mixed spices that he claims he'd separated into four separate piles because he was so bored and needed something to do. Well, I hope there's a little more purpose in this, but I've been counting cardamom pods. Cardamom pods are a nice addition to a daily morning English breakfast tea. And so I counted the cardamom pods in the pot. Seems a little strange, but I discovered that this jar actually contained very close on 365 cardamom pods. So one whole year's worth for me of cardamom pods. And I, my mind turned to the verse in scripture. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts and to wisdom. Now counting cardamom pods might seem a bit of a waste of time. But if it made me think and made me contemplate that my number of days is finite here on earth, then that's a good thing. And then to home in from there and consider that if I'm to count my days, that means each day will count. There are times when it's right to rest. There's a time when it's right to be busy and not to become obsessed with each day. And yet if the Bible tells me that it's right to number my days, then I should take note. It tells me that each day of mine is numbered. I'm maybe not to know how many days I have. Do I need one jar of cardamom pods? Do I need 10? Do I need 20? But I know my days are numbered. And I know they're numbered by someone who knows me better than I know myself. And I know they're numbered by someone who loves me and cares for me. The verse I mentioned is in Psalm 90, which is called the Prayer of Moses, the Man of God. I'll read that psalm briefly and then a few thoughts on it. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it's past, and like a watch in the night. You carry them away like a flood. They are like a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which grows up. In the morning it flourishes and grows up. In the evening it's cut down and withers. For we have been consumed by your anger and by your wrath we are terrified. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years like a sigh. The days of our lives are seventy years, and if by reason of strength they are eighty years, yet their boast is only labour and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger, for as the fear of you so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And have compassion on your servants. Oh, satisfy us early with your mercy. That we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days in which you have afflicted us. The years in which we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants. And your glory to their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. And a few thoughts. That psalm, as you will have gathered, gives the immensity of God. It teaches something of the immensity of God, yet the insignificance of man, and yet a wonderful relationship made possible by God himself that's reflected in the prayer of Moses, the man of God. The immensity of God before the mountains were formed or the world made from everlasting 
to everlasting. He is God. A thousand years like yesterday gone. And the minuteness of man, of any man, the greatest of men, our pride and our glory is brief, like a flower on a head of grass, gone like a sigh, swept away like a flood soon. Yet God knows our every thought, our even our most secret sins, our iniquities floodlit in the searchlight of his holy gaze. What a crushing thought. No wonder the Bible says the fear of this Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you do not know God, today is a day that God has given. Today is a day of grace. Today is a day of his mercy. If you do not know God, today could be the day you begin to seek him. Maybe that's why you're watching this video now. Seek him in his word, the Bible. That's where I began. Seek him in his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Read his life and works. What he really was like. What he really said he came to do. Seek him through the witness of his people too. Speak to Christians. We know Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. And let the wicked forsake his ways. So, now I know that I have been alive 21,154 days. That's a lot of days. You can calculate for yourself, but above all, let's all learn the lessons of Psalm 90. Our days are numbered, my days are numbered, your days are numbered, yet God cares about each one. Be right with him. Learn to walk with God each day and pray as Moses did. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands one day at a time by his grace. Amen.